Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. First thing, I have some very exciting news. So I was talking with Pastor Steve, and it sounds like we're going to get to have church again. So we're planning on next week, we're going to have church again. You guys can come, and we can all see each other. Things are going to be a little different than normal, so I can't give each and every one of you a hug like I wish I could. But sometime in the next few weeks, we'll be completely, hopefully, hopefully, back to the way we were. But next Sunday, I'll get to see you in person. All right, so today's lesson is a very fun one. I want you guys to go to Right Now Media and watch this episode. It's called Spoiling the Schemes of Luxar Spondroth. Oh, that's a mouthful, isn't it? And this is an adventure in self-control. So here's a little bit about that episode. Spoiling the Schemes of Luxar Spondroth, an adventure in self-control, part one. Luxar has finally done it. He has creating an addicting online video game. And that puts dozens of kids and even some of the parents in a trance. And since the game is online, Luxar doesn't even have to be near the players to affect them. So we're going to work together with the Bible team to counter Luxar's attack. So in this episode, you're going to learn about self-control. Do you know what self-control is? Well, if you don't, We'll talk about it together. We are going to talk about the fruits of the Spirit, and self-control is one of the fruits of the Spirit. So before we start, let's say this prayer together. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us the fruit of the Spirit. We ask you to help us live each quality of the fruit of the Spirit. Help us to show love and joy. Please help us to have peace and show patience and goodness. Help us to demonstrate faithfulness and gentleness and finally, help us have self-control. Please help us show others your love by teaching us your ways and growing us as your children. Now let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. All right, so like I said, we're going to talk about the fruits of the Spirit today. Well, if you want to open your Bible, we're going to talk about Galatians. So Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the Spirit gives love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Can you remember all of those? Okay. There is no law that says these things are wrong. So we're going to talk about the fruits of the Spirit. They are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I almost ran out of fingers. So Paul is the one in Galatians, and he's talking about the fruit of the Spirit. Have you ever heard, is the fruit of the Spirit not a banana? The fruit of the Spirit is not an orange? Oh, do I have the best song for you at the end. So the fruit of the Spirit, and he means the fruits that grow in our lives, not the ones that grow on the trees or that you buy at the grocery store. It would be kind of funny if he was talking about those, though. When we are following Christ and striving to serve others, people see these fruits in us. So we're going to talk about how we can show the fruit of the Spirit in our lives and show everyone that we are the fruit that God is talking about. The fruit of the Spirit, again, it's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I want you guys to see how fast you can say all of those, okay? Make it a speed race. And we can use them every single day. In every situation, the fruit of the Spirit are the recipe for pleasing God. So that's how we want to live our life. It's kind of a little guidebook. So the main thing about the fruit of the Spirit, God wants us to love others. He wants us to love him, and he wants us to share his love with the world. I mean, God loved us so much that he sent his son to die for us. So I think the main point that God has is he wants us to be like him, to love everyone. So that's why the, fruit, the first fruit is love. And God also wants us to have joy. Joy is knowing that no matter what happens, good or bad, God is in control. So you can always be happy and joyful having God in your life. Now, peace. P 
peace is something we can have when life is growing crazy. So, I mean, right now life is kind of crazy. We're not doing what we normally do. So sometimes you can just feel so upset. And having peace is when you take a moment and you just pray and you talk to God and you say, God, help me calm down. Help me figure out how to navigate life, how to do the things that you want me to do right now when I don't know what's going on. And that's something that we can share. Maybe you and your brother and your sister, we're all in the same boat. We all don't know what's going on. So we can pray together and find peace together. And so, like I said, patience means not just waiting, but we have to trust God and know that God will do what he means to do when he is going to do it. We can't rush anything that he wants us to do. So we just have to remain calm and wait, just like we were over the last few weeks while we've been stuck at home. We couldn't rush that, could we? We had to be patient to keep people safe, to do what we needed to do. Now we have kindness, goodness, and gentleness. Those are the ways that we treat others. We are kind to others, we are good to others, and we are gentle with others. When I say being gentle with others, I mean in the way we say things. Like you have to remember, you can't hurt someone's feelings when you're talking to them. You have to think about the way the things you say will sound to other people. So, and God wants us to be kind and loving towards others, doing good where it's needed. So kindness, goodness, and gentleness. You should do those three things absolutely every single day, every time you talk to someone, every time you think about yourself. You should be kind, good, and gentle to yourself, too. You don't want to think thoughts in your head that aren't very kind about yourself. You especially wouldn't do it about someone else. So we have to remember kindness, goodness, and gentleness. They are so important. And then we have faithfulness. I think you know what faithfulness means, don't you? Well, you're faithful to the Cardinals, aren't you? Not the Cubs. No, I'm just kidding. So faithfulness means being true to God and true to our loved ones and true to our friends. So we, we believe what they say. We are true to our loved ones. We don't lie to them. We don't do unkind things. We are faithful. And then lastly, like we talked about, self-control. That means learning to control our emotions and our actions, controlling Ourself. We control our arms, we control our legs, so we need to control our other actions and the things we say. We don't react in anger. We have to think before we speak. Remember, we have to be gentle and kind. When we give our heart to Jesus and really let him take control, the fruit of the Spirit will grow throughout our whole body. And guess what? Once we fill ourselves with the fruit of the Spirit, it'll start to come out of us, and it will start to grow in other people. When you talk about God and talk about the things that he has changed in your life, it's just like you're a flower that's planting seeds. Or you're a fruit tree that is planting seeds and growing other little fruits of the Spirit. We use the actions that God is having us do to create others. So that's the main point. People will see Jesus in us through the fruits. They'll see everything that we do. And they're going to want to be like us. They want Jesus for themselves. They see that we are kind. They see that we are joyful. You can never have the joy of having Jesus in your life if you don't open up your heart to him. The fruit of the Spirit can help us make a difference in this world. We need to go out into everyday life and show people why having God in our life and being one of the fruits of the Spirit is the best thing that you could ever have. So let's pray to God to send a harvest of fruit in our church. We can start here so that we can share the love of Jesus. So we have a fun song. It's called The Fruit of the Spirit. And I want you to get up and I want you to dance, okay? The fruit of the Spirit is not a coconut. Of the spirit, not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit, not a banana. The fruit of the spirit, not a banana. You want to be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. 
love and joy, peace, spaces, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. If you want to be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, spaces, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, spaces, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. The fruit of the spear is not a lemon. The fruit of the spear is not a lemon. If you wanna be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spear is not a cherry. The fruit of the spear is not a cherry. If you wanna be a cherry, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Okay, everybody knows that grapes come in bunches, so everybody get in big bunches. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. You wanna be a grape? You might as well hear it You can't be a fruit of the spirit Cause the fruit is a love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, <laughs> did you get every single one of those words? Remember how I said earlier we need to practice saying those words as fast as we can? Did you, did you do it? Did you get every single word in the song? Don't worry, I, I mess it up every time. But wasn't that such a fun song? It, it talks about the fruit of the Spirit. So like I said, fruit of the Spirit's not a grape or a cherry. We are the fruit of the Spirit, and we need to have all of those qualities in our everyday life. So let's close in prayer together, and then we can go out and be the fruits of the Spirit together, okay? Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us the fruit of the Spirit. We ask you to help us live each quality of the fruit of the Spirit. Help us show love and joy. Please help us to have peace and show show patience and goodness. Help us to demonstrate faithfulness and gentleness. And finally, help us have self-control. Please help us show others your love by teaching us your ways and growing us as your children. Amen. All right. I want you to go out and I want you to be a fruit of the Spirit, okay? And I can't wait to see my little fruits of the Spirit next week. So go into your week and have a great week. Come back, be full of sunshine, and we will greet each other from afar. I'll see you guys later.